Washington state is home to over 7.6 million people. If it was a country, its GDP per capita would be higher than wealthy nations like Australia, Germany, and Norway. But while all of these countries have free universal healthcare systems, 6.6% of Washington state, or over 450,000 people, have no health insurance at all. What can we do to ensure that everyone has comprehensive health care no matter what? Or, what can we do to provide health care that's always there? The answer is universal public health insurance. Senate Bill 5204 would create a universal public health insurance plan called the Whole Washington Health Trust. That plan would cover all Washington residents. That's right, everyone, regardless of age, income, or employment status, everyone's covered. It also covers everything. In fact, it's a huge expansion beyond traditional Medicare because it includes dental, vision, hearing, mental health, reproductive health, and much more. For a full list, go to Whole Washington's website. And it also costs between five and 10 billion less than our current healthcare system every year. And remember, that's without leaving anyone uninsured or in medical debt. So how do we pass it? Well, in Washington state, we have ballot initiatives. Ballot initiatives are a process in which citizens can collect a required number of signatures to put a law on the ballot to be either approved or rejected by a direct vote of the people. This is the process we use to legalize cannabis and marriage equality. So the question is, what about universal health care? According to the Washington State Constitution, the number of signatures we need to collect is 8% or more of the votes cast for governor in the last election. How many is that? Well, just under 2.5 million people voted for governor in 2020. 8% of that is just under 325,000. However, the Secretary of State recommends an additional 15 to 20% cushion to account for invalid signatures. For instance, maybe someone who isn't a registered voter or who isn't from Washington State signs our petition. So, an additional 23% cushion gives us a goal of 400,000. 400,000 total signatures to put universal public health insurance on the ballot. One thing you might notice about this is that it's actually fewer than the number of people who are uninsured. So how are we going to collect the signatures? That's where the whole Washington signature captains come in. The idea is very simple. We recruit 800 captains, and we have them each commit to leading the collection of 500 signatures. What do we mean by leading? Well, the signature captains don't necessarily need to personally collect every signature. It's just on them to make sure that it happens. This is a leadership position, which means you will have support if you need it. Why 800 captains? Well, it's a big number, but it's doable. We know that there are thousands of supporters of Medicare for All and Universal Healthcare in Washington State. So the question is, can we turn 800 of them into signature captains? It's likely more captains than we would actually need to get the signatures, but we consider that a good thing because it forces us to focus on recruitment. Remember, we don't just need to get this on the ballot, we need to win the election. So it's important that we bring in as many people as we can. Why 500 signatures each? Well. It's totally achievable by a single person. Anyone can do it, but it's a large enough number that it naturally encourages the formation of teams, which is something we really want to encourage captains to do to make these goals so much more achievable. But even without a full team, this can be done in just 10 to 15 hours. So we really want to emphasize that you can do this. You can do this. And one way we're gonna help captains succeed at collecting their 500 signatures is by making sure they have support from other captains through a buddy system. So as part of your onboarding, 
you're gonna be paired with a big buddy and you're gonna be paired with a little buddy. And just like that, every signature captain will have a support system of two other people in the program that they can go to anytime they need help. Leading up to signature gathering, we're going to be very focused on recruiting volunteers and assigning them to captains to form small teams. Depending on the availability of volunteers and the needs of each captain, those teams may look quite different. Some captains might not need a team at all. Our goal is for every captain to have a team that they feel will make them successful. Now, sometime before signature gathering begins, each captain will be receiving a box containing everything they need to get their signatures. We're calling it the Signature Captain Field Kit because we imagine that you could simply hand the box to a volunteer and it would provide clear step-by-step -step instructions for completing the Signature Captain commitment. Inside that box will be at least 25 petition sheets and 5 boards for you and your team as well as the Signature Captain Field Guide that contains all sorts of practical information like how to organize a shift, how to recruit volunteers to your team, how to do the data entry, how to send the petition sheets in. And of course, every box will contain a hand-knitted red beret as a gift and a symbol of solidarity donated by a volunteer craftivist in support of universal healthcare. So with a team, a box of sheets, a field guide for how to gather signatures, and a red beret to look great doing it, every signature captain will be well prepared to get universal healthcare out in front of voters and on the ballot. The filing deadline for our ballot initiative is in March and signature gathering will begin shortly after in April. The campaign is nearly nine months long and signed petition sheets must be postmarked in late December. Everything before signature gathering begins we're calling the pre-campaign and our main goals will be to recruit and train the 800 signature captains plan shifts and signature gathering events, and build pre-awareness of the upcoming initiative campaign. Once signature gathering begins, you have a lot of time to reach your commitment. Using all the time available, that comes out to just 15 signatures a week, probably less than an hour of work per week. Once we get the sheets in, the real campaign begins. Election day will be November 2023. So. You're all on board with the plan and you want to know, how do I become a signature captain? Well, the first thing to know is that anyone can do it. You don't need to be 18. You don't need to be a registered voter. You don't even need to be from Washington State. If you're willing and able to make the commitment we need, then you can be a signature captain. Step one, you fill out the signature captain interest form and someone from whole Washington will be in touch with you soon. There's a link at the end of the video and in the description. The next step is to attend a Signature Captain orientation to learn about the ballot initiative and the Signature Captain program. Once you understand the program and are willing to make the core commitment, you're ready to sign the Signature Captain contract. The core commitment is leading the collection of the 500 signatures, working with a small team of volunteers and participating in the buddy system, ensuring the data entry for those signatures, which is critical for keeping us on track with our goals and finding new volunteers. And last, ensuring that the petition sheets get sent into whole Washington, where they'll eventually be sent off to the Secretary of State. So if you understand the commitment and are ready to make it, then you're ready to sign the contract and congratulations, you're officially a whole Washington signature captain. And that's really all there is to it. That's how 800 well-organized signature captains in a bit of planning can put universal healthcare on the ballot, can win healthcare that's always there, and can make Washington whole. So thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more or get involved, you can fill out the signature captain interest form and someone from whole Washington will be in touch with you soon. You can also keep track of the campaign by following Whole Washington on Twitter, at Whole Washington. And if you're watching this as part of orientation, thank you so much for stepping up. We're very excited to work with you.